so hi guys it's been a while and I'm finally back doing another video for you guys and today it's gonna be a haul video all right so where should I start all right let me just start with the face products so firstly I've been wanting this product for so long and I finally decided to get it I got it from um, makeup mania I think and I paid $14 for it and the product that I am talking about is the Ben Nye banana, banana powder. powder and I use this as my highlight and I know that this product had to be good and it did not do me wrong so the next product all. is another product that I've had on my list and it's a foundation that I've wanted to try and it's the L'Oreal True Match and the color that I got it in is classic tan N7 and it says it has SP, SPF 17 and it has sunscreen and whatnot whatnot Oh, and I paid $1,346 for this foundation, so um, I think I'm going to be doing a review and a demo on this foundation, but I can't do it right now because I don't know, my skin got a shade darker, so now this is too light for my skin, so I'll probably only have to use it as my under eye highlights and down the my nose and so forth. But yeah, I've used this product I think twice, and I think it was a really good buy. I do think my Revlon color stays though is a bit better than it. I don't know, it, it just matches my skin color to a T, and it just stays on a lot longer than this one right here. But I'm gonna give it another try and keep using it, and then I'll do the review and the demo for you guys. So the other thing that I got was a BB cream, and I wanted a BB cream for summer. But you know, summer's gone. But anyway, it's always summer around in Jamaica, so I can still use this product next year once the cold time is basically passed off. So what I got was the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I don't know why the light is so bright right now. You guys can't even see. But the color that I got it in is medium deep, and it's just a two. It's a two in one beauty balm, and I've used this and. There were two sh shades. I think there was medium deep and then deep. And then deep, I've heard that it can be re it's like the darkest um, color. But it's, it, that would be too dark for me. So I had to go for this one. But this one, when I put it on, it kind of has a white cast. So let me kind of swatch that for you. So this is the product here. And I'm going to rub it out. So as you can see, this is a bit too white for my complexion. But it does oxidize and kind of matches up back. Once I put powder, I put a powder that's a bit darker than my skin tone along with this. It will oxidize and go back to my skin color. So you can work with this product. But the only, my only con with this product is that the shades. They don't have enough shades. I just got this in medium. Oh, and I paid $1,112. And this was at Monarch Pharmacy. So yeah, those are my three um, face, face products. No lie. One more face product and this I got from eBay and it's basically a knockoff beauty blender sponge. This is it. To me, this is kind of good but it's not really that good because it's way smaller. It's not even a dupe because it's way smaller so it's kind of more dense and I can't really get to blend out and the point, the tip is not pointed enough to get into my little areas to get them blended really well. So I don't know if I would advise anybody to get this but it was really cheap. I think it wasn't even $5 yet so I just wanted to try it for myself and if I was going to get one of these again I would not get it in pink, would not get it in cream, get it in black or something because this thing I I don't use it just because I, I'm so afraid of washing it because as you use it one time it's like dirt and I don't like that, I don't like that so just because of the color I don't even want to use it that much so yeah this is a knockoff beauty blender from eBay so I got two other items and these are mainly like jewelry items. I should probably put these at the end, right? But anyway, I mentioned them already. So they're from Primark and this is this gold earring. See, and it's this leaf one. It's really pretty. But this is not my favorite though. But the price that I see on it is $1, £1.50. So these are these right here. But my favorites are these. I absolutely love these and I can't wait to wear them with my red lip that I'm wearing and you guys, I'm surprised. So just stick to the end of the video. Yeah, so these are the earrings and I really, really love them. Love them. And they were £1.50 as well. So I also got this um, eyelash curler and this is from Mark and it just came in this box. So let me just try and open it. And my friend actually gave this to me and this is how it looks 
and it actually came with another what do you call these things? Brain freeze. Just one of these pink things. I don't remember what it is right now. But yeah, this is the eyelash curler. And then I got a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and this color is in bronze. Let me swatch that for you. So this is bronze. Are you seeing that? Yeah, that's bronze. So that's what I got. I also got some cosmetic wedges and y'all know how wedges look. Just like these and this is just a brand I just from China or something. Can I pronounce that? But yeah, that's what I got and I made I mainly got that to use with my Benna Banana Powder and it's a dream but I don't use it that much again. I just use this brush to apply the Benna Powder because that one it kinda just I don't use a bit now, it should just sit there and get it all caked up in my face. So I just usually just dab it in the card and then just press it into my skin because this wedge it just holds on to so much of the product and it just stays there on your feet. So I don't use that much that one anymore. And then I got two lipsticks. So these are the Maybelline Vivids. And I've always wanted to try these, but I didn't know where to get them. But I saw them in Monarch. Oh, and most of these products I got in Monarch. I got this in Monarch in Monarch and these two in Monarch and I must have got some in Monarch and Monarch is at um, Sovereign so the first color that I got um, I don't know what came over me where I got this color but it's 8 it is 0 electric orange and I'm just gonna swatch that for you so it looks red on camera but it's actually orange so it's just that color it's not the most vibrant orange it looks very vibrant in the tube but on the hand it's kind of more uh, and on the lips as well it's kind of more I don't know how to explain it but it's not this bright orange that you're seeing in the tube but yeah this is the Maybelline Vivid in Electric Orange and the next one is in Brazenberry and I absolutely love this color look at that it's so pretty let me swatch it on my hand and this swatch is not even doing uh, this lipstick justice a really nice purple color I've been on the hunt for a purple color and in my last haul I think I hauled a Milani one and the Milani one is in violet vault let me just get that one and crush it beside it so these are the two purples so this is Milani and this is um Brazenberry from Maybelline so one the Milani one just looks a slight bit darker and it's more like a metallic one but this is kind of just creamy base so yeah absolutely love those and then i got another lipstick and guys i got the riru now i missed it on the first time because i wasn't interested and then the second time i didn't even know it was coming out a second time and then the third time i was actually planning to go and get ruby woo because i thought that they weren't going to come up with another riru woo so the day before this actually came out, which was the 11th of December, I called Mac. And the Mac that I'm talking about is the Mac at Sovereign in Kingston. So I called them and I was asking them, you know, if you have um, Ruby Roo. And for some reason I asked them about Riri Roo. And the lady was like, well, yeah, we're going to have Riri Roo tomorrow at 1. And I'm like, wow, this must be my lucky day. So after that, I just went the other day at 1 o'clock. I actually got there at 12.30. When I got there at 12.30, I got number 28. So I was 20th person there. So that means that those persons were there for probably 12, 11 o'clock waiting for this lipstick. I didn't know that it was going to be. But it wasn't really, they weren't really there for the Riri Woo. They were there for Pleasure Bomb. And um, I think the other new color is called Bad Girl, Riri, Riri, Bad Girl. I don't remember. So that's the only reason why I got this because I was actually number 28. And they said that they got 12 of each items of the collection to sell. But I only got this because the other ladies in the line got it in the first and second collection. So yeah, enough talking. This is the packaging. So it's in this white thing and you can see her signature in her R. And let me just open it. This is the packaging and it's just so pretty. So, 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 so cute. So it's a rose gold packaging. The second collection, I really like the second one even more because it was full rose gold with her signature and all of that. But this is cute too. It just has this white bottom with her R and then her signature on the top of the rose gold. Same thing. And then you have her signature in the lipstick. So Riri Woo is what I'm wearing on my lips today. Let me just get a close up. 
so it's what I'm wearing on my lips today and I can't compare it to Ruby Woo because I don't have Ruby Woo this is on my hand it's just vibe and that was just two swatches let me just do one swatch now it is just so vibrant I did not waste a penny and I actually paid $2,135 I think that's the price that I paid, $2,100 and something dollars. So this is my Riri Woo and I got it. And I'm really happy I jumped on the boat and I got it because it's Christmas and red is wearing for the Christmas. And this is a absolutely gorgeous red. I have no other red in my collection that can compare to this red. So yeah, that was Riri Woo. Oh my god, I was rambling, right? Then I went to BH Cosmetics. I think they were having a no, they were having a sale. I just wanted these two because I really have um friends that I do makeup on and I probably from time to time I do makeup in between. I'm not a trained makeup artist but I do do makeup on people sometimes. So I got these two things because I think they're more economical and they have shades for different persons. So the first one that I got is the 66 lip color palette and it says lip gloss there but it does have some lipstick shades in there. So let me just open this. So this is how the packaging looks and it's really light compared to the other palettes. This is probably the lightest one because I have quite a few palettes from BH Cosmetics but this is probably the lightest one. And as you can see it's 66 colors and they are really a mixture of colors. There are some purples, blues, um, nudes, pinks, reds. So this is the palette that I'll be using when I'm doing makeup on other people apart from myself so I don't have to really go into my collection. And then I also got the 10 color concealer palette so it comes I'll just open this. so I got this and it just comes with this clear thing again on it and I think this one has more of um some more character colors more than concealers because I think these three at the top are character colors you can see them they kind of look peachish so I use those for my dark circles and so forth um probably I'd say seven of these are actually concealers and the three at the top are characters. But I really like this palette and I'm going to, the products that I talk about, I'm going to be doing a review on, a review and demo on the Maybelline June Fresh and the L'Oreal True Match so you can look out for that. What else am I going to be doing a review on? Yeah, I think that's it and if you want to see more swatches and so on of the products that I mentioned in this video, you can just click the link below to my Facebook channel my Facebook page and you can see when I update because I, I put these things up before I actually did the video because I was not here so I could not film so yeah I think I have swatches of these there and the other lipsticks that I got so yeah that completes my haul and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video